Hello, folks. It's March 3rd, 2022. My name is Reagan, and it's another year and another time to destroy Jordan Peterson. Last year, about this time, I published a video on why you should not have children given the upcoming climate emergency, which we are now actually enduring. The video in question today is from Chris Williamson, published on February 18th, 2022 to YouTube. And the title of the video is Jordan Peterson dash population collapse is coming. It has about 2.1 million views and 79,000 upvotes. Why? I sincerely do not know. So without further explanation, I am just going to play because the title itself says everything. Rolling the clock forward, you and Elon tweeted recently about population collapse. What do you think yeah. is going to happen there? Oh, well, I've thought for at least 10 years that the biggest problem in 50 years will be that there's just not enough people. Unfortunately, we are threatened now by a triple threat of biodiversity loss, climate change, and nuclear proliferation. This was stated himself by the UN Secretary General in an assembly speech given last year. How and where you get your information is beyond me. And well, think I, I worked on a UN committee, oh, it's got to be 10 years ago now, um, to help draft the UN Secretary General's report on sustainable economic development. And so I looked at all sorts of things like that. I was very curious, for example, about, because people have been beating the overpopulation drum since, well, it really kicked in in the 1960s, you know, because there were dire predictions. By the year 2000, the Club of Rome came out and said, well, there'll be riots and mass starvation and mass movement of, of migrants and all the things you hear about climate change because there's too many people on the planet. And that just didn't happen at all. That was just that it wasn't just wrong. It was anti-true. It was absolutely wrong. What happened instead was that everyone got way richer and the, the bottom section of the population in terms of economic distribution got lifted out of poverty. Inequality still exists, but that's that power law phenomenon we already talked about. Not that that's trivial, it's just unbelievably difficult to determine what to do with. There are solutions, but certainly getting rid of capitalism isn't the solution. There are too many people on the planet. In fact, we are consuming all of the planet's resources much faster each year than ever before in human history. Yes. You think we can sustain all of this life on the planet at current levels that we're doing now? No. Also, 45 trillion at least went to the top 1% over the past 50 years. So you're telling me everyone got way richer. How much of a bubble do you live in? How much in denial are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Musk, you know, he's a far looking man and. And so he's looking around the apocalyptic corner, let's say, and like, oh, oh, we're running out of people. And what that means, of course, is that you run out of young people, right? You don't run out of old people first because everyone who is here now is going to be 30 years older in 30 years. And it'll be young people we don't have enough of. And of course, young people. And so there's going to be a terrible shortage of young people. Well, you see this with some of the things that I posted the, that ONS data, the 50.1% of women childless by 30 and both men and women are replying to that tweet saying well good there's too yeah. many people on the planet in any case i know, I'm thinking I know. how this npc midwittery is so dangerous because it makes people believe that they actually have something grounded backing up their claims yeah yeah well and th this idea that the planet has too many people on it this is I, there's no sentiment more implicitly genocidal than that statement. <laughs> My dear friends and closest ones around me would hardly call me genocidal. However, that's the sentiment you choose to take. Although 234 scientists read 14,000 papers and generated a Nobel Peace Prize winning report called the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Assessment. And you're telling me that the science isn't real. How far is your head in the sand? I want to know that. <laughs> so what do you mean too many people? A brand new once in a decade report from the UN is incredibly clear. We are altering our planet. 
The report detailing how climate change is making extreme weather worse in every region of the globe. Exactly. Hotter heat waves, heavier rain, more extreme droughts, raging infernos. And what do you mean the planet? You can hear the crackle of these flames. The fires are just ripping through the underbrush here. Look at that. We see it climbing up that tree. It is going all the way up the hillside. We have seen dozens of these hot spots popping up along the road. This is what firefighters are struggling to keep. And what do you propose to do about that exactly? Mass abortion, is that your answer? Or should we do something a little more dramatic? Maybe we'll just shame people out of having children. And I've seen people do that, literally. I saw a professor when I was at an, uh, um, uh, a TED, I think it was, it doesn't matter. It was a number of professors talking to a couple hundred students. And one of the professors who was an environmentalist activist type and he got up on stage and shook his finger to the whole young crowd saying that him and his wife had only decided to have one child, which was, in my opinion, one child too many for him, mm -hmm. and told all the young people there if they had a shred of ethical decency that they would lim severely limit their reproductive potential. And I stood up and said that I thought that, that was the most, one of the most appalling things I'd ever heard anyone in academia say to young people, which is really saying something because they say plenty of appalling yeah. things and beyond comprehension. It's beyond comprehension, but it's associated with like a deeply rooted existential self-hatred. Oh, is it? Do I have an existential self-hatred, Jordan? Are you automatically diagnosing an individual with that, even though you've never talked to them or looked at the science? There's going to be a terrible shortage of all people, Mr. Peterson, because at current emission levels and national determined contributions, we are headed for a world at least 2.7 degrees Celsius average warmer we are currently at around 1.1 and that's pushing the baseline average forward what i am saying is the habitat for humans on earth which means all the things that we need to survive running water food habitable ambient temperature is being threatened at the moment and this was addressed by the u.n secretary general himself yes the top diplomat in the world not some schizoid religious foundation that you may be a part of. Nearly half of humanity is living in the danger zone now. Many ecosystems are at the point of no return now. Unchecked carbon pollution is forcing the world's most vulnerable on a frog march to destruction now. Alex Epstein on. calls this human racism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. And it's that. Yeah, well, we're a cancer on the planet, you know, unchecked growth, just like a cancer. It's like, that's us, say eh? a cancer, it's okay. We know where your heart is located. There is nothing we can do about it, Jordan. Okay? The last chance we had to address the climate crisis was probably in the 80s, maybe a little bit earlier. We are a cancer on the planet that has spread rapidly out of control. We are a heat-generating civilization, as pointed out by Tim Garrett in five peer-reviewed papers. No matter what we do, we have consumed all of the resources available to sustain this current level of living that we have. That's what I mean by the planet. Because what's, what's the implications for, for a doctrine like that? What do you do with the cancer? Cut it out. Yeah, that's for sure. Poison it or whatever, whatever. There's nothing you don't do to a cancer. So you're going to use a metaphor like that? There's too many people on the planet. You're going to use a metaphor like that? You know, and then you're going to you're going to also decide that you're virtuous while you're using it because you're on the side of the planet, whatever the hell that means. Existence is such a foul thing because of all its suffering, essentially, that it would be better if it was merely anni annihilated. And that's the Mephistophelian stance. This whole show should just come to a halt. Look at how corrupt people are. Evil reigns everywhere. It's nothing but will to power. We're destroying the planet. Um, with our unchecked ambition, all of it rooted in greed and, and, and Machiavellianism and jockeying for position. And we're so contemptible that we should just roll up and die. And we should shame women into not having children. And we should shame men so they never manifest any planet-destroying ambition. And it's, it's unbelievably appalling. It goes all the way down to the bottom the bottom of things. That's what's tearing our culture apart, this dispute about the nature of existence at the most fundamental level. Oh, eh? It's absolutely appalling, eh? Yes, the planet. All vertebrate, invertebrate species in the planet that were here before us 
for millions of years. That's what we mean. Not the evil ape that killed all of its other cousin apes and came out on top and decided to completely rape the planet in some sort of malignant narcissistic ideal that supply, that resources are unlimited and we can do whatever we want and have no consequences. Right. That's not psychopathic at all. Good point. Yeah, guys, I don't really need to say much more. Jordan Peterson is clearly in extreme denial about the predicament humanity finds itself in at the moment. And the fact that this gets 2.1 million views is really concerning. And an example of how when population growth is unchecked and everything spirals out of control, that you have really bizarre pathologies that develop in the case which we're examining today, Jordan Peterson. All right, now that we're all clear on that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and the bell notification if you want. My name is Reagan, and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.